Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I recorded my video and I totally forgot to record an intro. So here I am right before editing. I already changed into PJs and everything. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how I design my phone with the new update, the iOS 14 update, what apps I use, where I get my pictures, how do I set everything up? So if you guys wanna learn how to do that, go ahead and keep watching. This is what my screen looks like. I know that there's a glare on the phone, but I'm going to try my best to like insert a screen recording. But this is what my phone looks like. That is my home page. And then I have this as my second page right here. And then my third page is just all my apps together. I'm going to show you guys how I do it and everything on screen record. So if this video is like, kind of in person and then voiceover and back and forth then it's because it's screen recorded not because i want it like that if that makes sense so but yeah basically all the apps that i use can be downloaded from the app store so the first one that i use is widget smith and that one is going to allow you to put the big widgets like these so when you open it, it looks like that. And you get to choose whether you want it small, whether you want a small widget, a medium widget, or a large widget. So I'm gonna show you guys how I get those. I'm gonna put add small, and then I'm gonna press it. And then I'm going to press on it again, and then it gives you all this option. So you can do time, date, customize it with the photo you can choose your battery life your calendar your reminders um the weather and there's like just a bunch of stuff that you can do i'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys uh like the basic one so we can go ahead and do the month or let's do the month and the date and then we go down to aesthetic and you get to choose there's a lot of different designs that you can choose from. Some of them are locked. You can pay for them if you want to pay for them. That way you can go ahead and design them. Customize theme. So it gives you a bunch of different options for font. Personally, I love the New York one. Um, we're going to go ahead and use Palatino for right now. Then we go down to tint color. I love white, depending on what color I use, but usually it's white background color i'm usually staying in the creams the pale pinks right now we can do the 80 percent which is a great color then we'll go down to the border um you can add a border you don't have to sometimes i don't like to but we'll go ahead and do white for this one and then artwork you can add a bunch of artwork if you want to i added none for artwork then we save it and put apply to widgets and that's how it appears on your screen you can rename it but i just left it as small number six and there you have it all right now i'm going to show you guys how to add it to your home screen you're going to press and hold down you're going to edit the home screen and you're going to press the plus sign at the top and then you go all the way down to widget smith and i'm going to choose large because i removed it add widget and there it is that's what i have right now if you had more than one large widget, it would ask you which one you want to add and you just choose the one that you want to add to. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys how to get these right here, like the clock, the settings, and the weather and all that stuff. So the first app you're going to want to download is Canva. So I'm going to open Canva and you can go ahead and search. I always search um, iOS home screen, iOS 14 apps, iOS 14 aesthetics. But for this sake, I'm going to go into new aesthetic and I'm going to choose something that kind of matches. Like I like this one right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and just delete all the words that are on there. And then I just like to keep the blank background. After I have the blank background, I'll go into add. And I'm going to go into elements. And you can see these are all the ones that are recently used. So like depending on what you're doing, clock, app store, you just go ahead and search. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for mail. And this is everything that shows up for mail. 
So since I don't pay for the app, I can't use the ones that say pro. I can only use the ones for free. So for this video, let's go ahead and choose this one right here. And I just center it and I'm done. Sometimes, um, this time I didn't do it, but sometimes I'll add like a, a text. So I'll go there, position it where I want it, tap on it, add mail, and then I'll go down. I'll choose the font that I want. Usually it's a scripted font. If I'm gonna do a font, it's gonna be scripted. And then I'll just choose the size that I want. And then I'll go ahead and reposition everything so that it can come out perfect. And then I'll probably change the font color to white so that you can go ahead and see that. And there you go. Once I'm done, you can either go ahead and save as image or you can screenshot it and crop it out, same thing. So now if you go down to photos, it will show up right here on your photos. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna go into shortcuts. You're gonna press on the add at the top and you're gonna go into add action, scripting, open app, and then you're gonna press on choose. You're gonna choose the app that you want it to do. So if you're doing it for mail, you're gonna put mail, clock, you put in clock, it's self-explanatory, right? Um, you, so since I'm doing the mail, I'm gonna put in mail because I wanted to open the app. And then I'm gonna press the three little dots at the top. I'm gonna name my shortcut mail because that's what it's for. I'm gonna press on add to home screen and then I'll press on the purple little screen and I go into choose photo, choose the photo I want. There it is. And then I just put add and done and done. So here it is. And then you just go ahead and edit your home screen and you drag it to wherever you want it. I already have one, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. And then I'll reposition this back and that's it. I think I covered everything. The only thing that I don't like are for my phone, my internet, my messages and my music, which is the apps at the bottom. I don't like to do it like that. For the reason being that when you press the app to open, let's say I wanna open my settings, it's going to go to shortcuts first and then it will open the app. I personally do not mind that because it makes my pictures look cute. The only reason that I have them like that is because when I wanna talk to somebody, I want it to be fast. I don't wanna wait for it to go through two apps and then kind of open the app. So when you open your app, it'll go into shortcuts and then it will open the app for you. Like I said, I don't mind that, but if you do, I really don't recommend for you to do this. It did take me like three days to get used to it, but after a while you get used to it and it just goes super fast. It's not like it takes forever, but yeah. That's the only downfall about this. Here, I just have my month, my camera, my photos, my maps, my mail, settings, clock, weather, app store. Like I said, I have a little quote. And I have Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Let me show you guys on Pinterest. When I'm looking for pictures for my um, screensaver on Pinterest, I'll go in and depending on what color I'm doing, so I'm gonna go into nude, aesthetic wallpaper, and a bunch of them come out. You have a lot of them, so then like this one right here, you could actually screenshot this. And if you don't want the search button and the arrow, I kind of just press it down like this and then I will screenshot it there and then I'll just crop it out and that is a trick to get out of having the search bar and the arrow come out on Pinterest. So that's basically what I do, like this would be a good one, a good one. This would be a good one to put like in a widget, it's super cute. And then you can even do this one as a back home screen. So yeah, um, you can also get your home screens and your lock screens on Canva, just depending on what you wanna do. And then you can even come up with your own quote. This one right here, let me show you how I did that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a medium widget. I'm gonna press it and then I'm going to go into custom text and then I will go 
here, basic, your text, and um, let's go ahead and do this one and you can go into add your text. So I'm just gonna put YouTube video, return, and done. So then you come here and it's saved and there it is. Now, if I wanted to add it, let's say I wanted to add it here, cancel. I just press down, edit home screen, and then you go all the way down and you put widget Smith. I'm gonna choose my medium, add medium widget. And then you go, you press it again, press it and it'll show it in the back, which one do you want? And I want number three, cause that's the one that I just made. I don't know why I didn't save number one. There it is. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that this video was helpful. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. And if I missed something, please go ahead and leave me a comment down below or send me a DM through Instagram. I'll leave my handle in the description box so that you guys can go ahead and ask me questions. If you need help, I don't mind helping you. Please go ahead and let me know what other videos you might wanna see from me. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and leave me some love in the comments. Bye.